Welcome back. We had a wet day, a gloomy day. We're going to continue seeing those conditions as we head overnight tonight. Tomorrow uh, is going to be a little bit different. We're just going to start out with some cloudy conditions, and then we are going to see some drier conditions to start out the work week. Tonight, however, that rain likely to continue. Snow level above 2,500 feet. We could see up to an additional inch of snow accumulation above 2,500 feet, but rain likely around the Spokane area. 32 degrees for our overnight low. Winds will be out of the west. 5 to 10 miles per hour, so staying uh, fairly light out there. 40 degrees for our high tomorrow. A very slight chance of rain or snow showers in the morning. Winds will be out of the southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now behind that, we are going to see some high pressure, so we're going to start drying out a little bit. Today's high well above average. 47 degrees for our high. 33 for our low. Usually 35 is our high and 26 is our low. So we are above average. We're staying well above average for the entire seven-day forecast. We are going to be close to break in some records as we head towards next weekend with those temperature highs. 38 degrees right now in Spokane, winds out of the south at 13 miles per hour. And in Coeur d'Alene, 36 degrees, winds out of the east at 3 miles per hour. And you can see on our radar, we still have that low pressure system tracking through the region, starting to dissipate as it moves to the north. But we're going to continue seeing those chances of valley rain around the Spokane area and chances of snow to the north of us. Now, we still have a winter weather advisory in effect uh, for areas as well, but you can see this wraparound system is going to happen overnight. That's what's going to bring us those chances of rain or snow overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. There's that winter weather advisory in effect for western Montana until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, looking at the potential for snow, rain, and freezing rain, up to three inches of snow accumulation possible. That's likely going to be along the passes, so if you're traveling that way, you could encounter some very wintry road conditions. All of that's coming from this occluded low pressure system. That's going to continue pushing to the east, uh, still bringing us those chances of rain or snow tomorrow morning. Then high pressure will build in tomorrow evening. That's going to start drying us out as we head into Sunday evening, Monday and Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, this next low pressure system will start moving in. And that's going to bring us some more chances of rain and snow rain and high mountain snow, warm and windy conditions as well. Taking a look at that seven day forecast, 40 degrees for our high tomorrow. Those slight chances of rain or snow in the morning, 40 on Monday, foggy conditions Monday morning as well, 41 on Tuesday. And then that warm and wet weather starts moving in, 45 on Wednesday, 52 by Thursday. So temperatures are really coming way up as we head towards next weekend. We could be breaking some records. Wow, 52. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that for you. Tonight's weekend whiskers is Zoe, <laughs> and she's seven-year-old Shih Tzu. And like many dogs, she doesn't like baths. So her owner, Dee Dee, says she uh, kind of fought her on this. But pretty cute picture came out of it. So thank you for that, Dee Dee. And if you want your picture, your pets featured on Weekend Whiskers, you can email me, Alyssa D at KXOI.com. Yeah, I don't know a pet that does like a bath. I no. don't either. No. Yeah. Not, not most. Not most. Mm -hmm. Neither do I.